Today guys we are talking what I think is the most versatile golf club that you could have in your bag and that is a golf club that I would never thought of I would be saying that in Florida playing in a nice warm climate and that club is a utility driving iron a club that you may think and put down to right well I'd use a driving iron if I was playing Lynx golf if I was playing the Heathland course but why not use it in the climates just like here in Florida that's why I think it's the most versatile club that you could have in your golf bag going into 2024. And today I have a Tor Edge Exotics, a C722. So it's not the latest and the greatest. It's not the latest driving iron I could have possibly got my hands on, but it's a golf club that we can use perfectly here. Again, in Florida here, I've got a par four where there's some bunkers that are right in my driving distance. If I don't quite get it right, I'm going into the trouble. And if I do get it right, I might not reap the rewards whereas this club here is going to potentially leave me just short of the bunkers and leave me a good shot into the green and why do i say is it the most versatile because just because it's a driving iron doesn't mean that we have to play this flight here which is nice and low which is why a lot of people relate it to being the perfect club for lynx golf The low little cut up there, launching nice and low, a nice penetrating ball flight, which would be taking out all the elements if we were playing Lynx Golf. Obviously what we can do with this club is, especially off the tee, we can start to change our setup, we can start to get this club working a little bit differently because a club doesn't just have to be what it says on the tin. It's the same if you're going for a hybrid, it's the same if you're going for a seven wood, it's the same if you're going for any club in your bag really. It all depends on what kind of swing we're putting on there. But I would strongly suggest not just buying a club because of one job. I'm gonna use it on the seventh hole at my golf club and that'll be the only golf club I'm going to use. That may be not be the most helpful because depending on the wind conditions, it might not be the right club for the day. And this is where obviously if you like the look of a driving iron down behind the golf ball, something that's more like an iron, you can put your iron swing on that, then that's what you need to have in your bag. It doesn't mean that it's just going to go low. Again, here I can get that ball position a little bit further forward in my stance. I've got a tee on that and I can now play a totally different ball flight. And you can see right there, that launched a little bit higher there. That's got me a more mid trajectory, but can we get it high off the fairway? That's the big thing here. And this is what I'm trying to prove to you that this club could be one of the most versatile clubs that you put into your golf bag if you know how to use it properly. And it's not just for one hole at your golf club. And for me there, the first shot that was launching a little bit lower has finished in position eight, okay, just short of that bunker and left me a shot into this green. Second one that did launch a little bit higher has now gone pretty much the same distance and that's where it is perfect because even out here in Florida, we can start to get a similar distance from playing two different flights. If that was windy conditions, I was straight into the wind, I could get that launching a little bit lower by just adjusting my setup. If I want to launch it higher, a little bit further forwards in your stance and get that club doing what you want and this is where you've got to think with your set of clubs at home do you have a combo set do you change because it might not just be a driving iron because this could be your six iron your five iron your four iron your three iron in your bag maybe go to something a little bit more forgiving maybe that is hollow body that's going to help you get a little bit of launch but you can obviously get it to go lower and higher if you need it to but you're also going to get forgiveness which these driving irons do have forgiveness, maybe not as much as a hybrid or a seven wood, but it also depends on how you like the look of it behind the golf ball. What's gonna give you the most confidence to get your scores down in 2024? Now guys, as we fast forward through the trees here at Reunion, if you are enjoying the content, please do consider hitting that subscriber button below. But we are now on the tee here at another short par four, and I'm gonna put these two clubs to the test. So it's the age old test. Should I have a driving iron? Should I have a hybrid? Both 19 degrees, but let's test them for distance. Are they gonna go roughly the same amount? Could you have both of these options for when you play different golf? Or should we just stick and commit to one? So let's start off with this driving iron so again i'm going to do this with a tee up i'm going to try and get that mid flight again i'm not trying to go too low here because of the conditions that we are in here in florida it is extremely humid i did forget how many flies are around when it is humid right let's have a look again a good strike there good launch high launch there off that tee 
and pretty good up there. I would say that was a good strike. So can I get the same strike with the hybrid? There I've shown the versatility. If I do tee that up, I can get that ball flight. Same as what I could get maybe from a hybrid. So guys, it's always thinking about what clubs are going to be the best for you this year. You, If you are looking to spend money, make sure you get something that's doing more than one job. And again, even if you're in the top set of your irons, if you're looking at that 6 iron, 5 iron, 4 iron, where you're still not getting the forgiveness, maybe look for something that is maybe more hollow body this year. There's a lot of combo sets. There's a lot of good irons coming out this year, which will be on the channel soon. Not only with myself, but with mid-handicap Dave and also Frankie Fairways and we can get hold of him. So identical shots there, two high phase there, up towards the bunkers. I think we should carry over them and leave ourselves around about 100 yards here. So interesting, you can start to generate the same flights. Yes, maybe it was a little bit easier with the hybrid, but maybe you're somebody who hits the ball too high as it is. Maybe you want something launching a little bit lower and getting that little bit more distance, depending on where you play. So certainly good options to have. Maybe when you go for fittings, try and get a driving iron to test. I don't see many people going for fittings and testing that. I see people maybe going to a hybrid, but not so much with those driving irons. Maybe you just buy it off the shelf because so you feel like it's gonna change your ball flight. It might not do that it might not be as more versatile as a hybrid so it's all about versatility so far i'm enjoying it even though it's not the latest model so should you even go brand new so guys they were identical distances off the tee a little bit to the right and i realized when i teed off that this is a par five it's not the hole i was thinking about. but now we're going to hit it into this par five behind we're 220 yards out which is what these clubs should go can i get that driving iron to land a little bit softer or am i more comfortable with that hybrid and this is what you got to think guys when you are buying clubs can you play different shots with them or is it just an all out the only shot you can hit is a full shot obviously if you're looking to lower your handicap lessons are going to help but all also, the clubs you buy with the right shafts and the right gapping is essential. Having something you're confident with on the golf course is going to help you get lower scores. I'm feeling confident with this driving iron that I can get it to do exactly what I want. Let's have a look. So this is a shot. Can I get the versatility? Can I get this launching high? Can I get it near or on the green with confidence? I don't want to feel like I'm fighting this. A little bit ball below the feet. So I'm going to aim for a little bit of a fade. And that is a nice high fade cutting back to that flag. And if I can zoom in there, guys, I will. That is on the green, middle of the green, but didn't feel like I had to try there. So when you are thinking about filling that top end of the golf bag, don't overlook a driving iron. Start to think, what do you like to see behind the golf ball? Which is giving you confidence and which is giving you all the shots that you need? If you don't like the look of a hybrid or a seven wood, if you prefer to see something like this behind the golf ball, then go with it. I've been comfortable with it off the tee. I've been able to get it to go high when I need to, also get it to go low if I'm playing Lynx golf, but there, on a par five, downhill lie, ball below my feet, I've been able to hit that nice and easy and hit the center of the green. So guys, hopefully you're enjoying the content and if you are, get in those comments below. What do you want to see on the channel in the coming weeks? And I'll see you again tomorrow.